Oh, my new intro looks pretty decent, I guess. <laughs> Hello guys and welcome to um, this Apex League race, I don't know what round it is, I kind of just joined the championship, just blind I asked to join and they let me race. So, oh, the start's a bit messy, I don't know whether it was laggy for people but I was getting hit and oh man, that guy they got the run into the stick didn't he, he was looking the wrong way. But yeah, um, just joined this Apex Racing League, it's a good site, that's a very good community, the guys before the race all having a laugh, he's, he's very uh, friendly and all that. Uh, the racing was actually, it was decent, I mean once we kind of all settled into formation and we got rid of the, uh, the start, the way everyone's Constantina up in corners and stuff, the racing was, was, was decent, I mean um, I start, I think I qualified 5th and I dropped right down the grid, I can't see on my screen right now what position I dropped into but I dropped down pretty low after getting hit and I had to work my way up and the hardest part of it was I was in a car I've never used before. I've never driven the NSX. I've never ever. I mean, I've been doing GT500 racing for two years now, and I've always just been in GTR. I've done a little bit of a few races in the Supra. I've done a few races in the Lexus, but I've never ever driven the NSX. And um, every time someone's had a race in the NSX, they've always said, "Wow, this car is it." Oh my God, look how wide that was. Dirty yeah, Really, almost caught me up. Luckily, I just saved it. But people always say when they drive the NSX, it's so fun to drive and it is a beast. Uh, one of my mates, Diesel, he used to say it's a shopping trolley on the on the rocket. That's what it's like. It's just it doesn't handle great, but it just flies, man. It's it's brilliant. But I actually really really enjoyed trying it out. Uh, thing is, it's not really smart to go into a, um, a very competitive race with no experience in the car, with the track, and. So I, I don't know. I, I still managed to pull off a decent qualifying position, I guess, which is an achievement in itself. And, and I've not really played it since this race. It, the race was last week. I've not really uh, tested the car. I really need to get to grips with it. Oh, lovely overtake, man! That was beautiful, Danny inside. But I, I really, really want to give it a go. This NSX. I want to give it a test. I need to find a setup. I have no idea how to set up this car. Um, after two years, I finally started to figure out how to set up a GTR. And when I set up my GTR, it's generally the same setup every track, just a, a minor adjustment on the ride height. I always, depending on the track, if the if, uh, turning isn't really great, I raise the I raise the front, give it a bit of turning. That, that's I really really keep it simple. I, I leave it on default, change the rear toe, and play around with the ride height. I don't I don't like to go um, changing my setup. I mainly do my setup through my gears. That's that's how I do it. So, cause I'm, I'm, not, I'm not really want to touch all that kind of stuff. I just want to race, man. I mean, as long as the car feels good, then I'm comfortable with it. I don't want to touch it too much. But I've, I've had um, one friend of mine who set, he used to set up my cars before a race, and he used to give me the perfect setup every race, and it was enjoyable. But now I've got to do it on my own. It's kind of it's just getting the grips of it. But oh god, picked up a few places here. Eh? <laughs> that bus stop chicane is a, uh, in my opinion, the most enjoyable corner in GT5, it's, it's heavy braking and it's just such a high speed chicane, it's brilliant, I love it. Down the out there, I, I think I should just use the inside, but I don't know what I was thinking. But, oh well, I've still got the overtake. So this race, I, I uh, worked my way up, uh, I can't see what position I'm in, but uh, I did, I did alright, I mean, considering I've never used a car and every, everything was kind of just new to me, I mean, I, I, I have very, very little experience around this track as well. But I've raced this track, I think, once maybe, once before GT500s, and I, di I didn't even practice that much then when I'd done it. So, when it's a the um, infield at the start where it's all twisty and turny, and that's the GTR section there. That is where the GTR makes its time and, you know, uses its like corner and speed for its advantage. And then you've got the back straights, which is uh, really where my car should be picking up the pace, but I found it wasn't really, because I was running full aero. I was really unused to the car, so I, I put the aero up to give it stable stability. Because in the corners, man, it, the back end was just flying out, and it's enjoyable. But you want to save tires, and you want to really, really crack on in the competitive race. You don't want to have fun; you want to win. <laughs> well, you do want to have fun, but you really want to win. Um, I don't know how much of this race is recorded and what you are going to see, but. From work, from crashing in the first corner, I worked my way up into second place, and 
I was sort of hunting down the guy in first. I wasn't hunting him, hunting him down, but I was gaining a tenth here and there, and he was gaining a tenth, and you know we were just trading lap times really. And uh, he he made a mistake coming out of the pits. He crashed in the pit lane. So I really had the opportunity to win this race. I really, really think I should have done it. But I, I got really badly screwed over. Um, coming into the pits, I slowed down, ran it into the pit lane, and my AI took control and it decided just to fly off the track and go on the grass and go doing donuts. And I lost about 30 seconds. So I went through the pit lane and didn't pit me. And in this race, you have to, um, it's, a man it's mandatory to have a pit stop. Um, so I, I have to abide by the rules on this website as so I, I went and I had to go and pit in again which was another, I lost about another 40 seconds and when I had to pit I didn't buy the right tyres before the race as well you meant to buy mediums um, and I only had hards so when I came out of the pits I was just on ice and it was horrible and I just thought to myself I, that's, that's uh, just uh, get through the race and get ready for next week I mean nothing I can do here on hard tyres so but I got really unlucky there in the pits because if, if the pit if the pit went successfully, I think I could have held on to the win on the hard tyres. I, I think um, you know I've I've driven enough on hard tyres at the GTR. I know it's a completely different ball game in the NSX, but I'm I'm used to it and I've got good car control, so I would have felt comfortable of you know trying to at least hold the lead, especially in the NSX if I can keep the slipstream. But it wasn't meant to be, I guess you know. Uh, <laughs> It's, it's, it's the luck of um, my, my luck. My luck is just awful. I mean, even right now, if, um, I was in the gym a month ago and I've ripped all my ligaments in my left shoulder. So playing GT5 is a bitch right now. I mean, I'm in absolute pain. That's why I haven't turned my mic on during these races. Because every corner I'm screaming and owing and oh, it's, it's not enjoyable. Well, I just I need to race because I need the content for my channel. I mean, uh, I've just released a hot laps video recently, but I have gone way over the limit of the clips I have. So I'm gonna leave this video here. The next race is tonight, so I'm gonna upload this and then I'll get the next one done as soon as possible. I'm a bit behind as of um, just trying to sort a few things out. But anyway, I'm gonna leave you with I don't know what I'm gonna leave you with. I'm just gonna go. Cheers for watching.